it was a very fearful moment for me because I was really putting my mother and father and brother on the stage and myself as well. And because I was a beginning playwright, they were more caricatures than really, you know, three-dimensional people. Um, but they were quite funny. And my mother came on opening night, but she was at that point uh, parted with my father. And um, she, she saw the play, and after the play was over, I said, what you think of it, Mom? She said, oh, I don't know. I'll have to come another night. I said, what were you doing? She says, well, I was looking at all the celebrities. So she came back night after night and day after day on matinees. My father came about a week later, and I really worried about him um, because I was afraid he might have felt that I was poking fun at him. I wasn't. I was pointing out his human and comic foibles. Um, but I, I never meant to make a joke of, of what he was like. And so he saw the play, and I waited anxiously uh, at the back of the house for him to come out. And I saw him. He didn't have a smile on his face. And so with great trepidation, I walked over to him and I said, what'd you think, Dad? And he said, it's nice. It's good. I liked it. I said, well, I'm glad. He said, I said to him, uh, what'd you think of the father? And he said, oh, I know so many men just like him. He never saw himself in the play. But he felt he was responsible for the play's success because he went back to the garment business and said, you've got to see my son's play. It's hilarious. And where did you see this father? He's really funny.